Hello everyone, today we're going to be doing another food review. Um, today I'm doing the ghost pepper. And as you can see, there's some sun damage on my uh, ghost pepper because it was fully green on uh, underripe when I received it from a relative. And I tried to ripen it in, a, in the windowsill and um, I caused some sun burnt damage or whatever it's called. Um, this is going to be as spicy as the full ripe ghost pepper, but it's still going to be pretty spicy. Um, I love spicy food. The hotter the better. Uh, so, expect some runny noses, uh, tears, probably coughing, uh, maybe barfing. I've never barfed before eating spicy food, but uh, it could be a first day for everything. Uh, okay, without further ado... Oh, um, if those of you who want to know how to uh, calm the heat for eating uh, after eating spicy food, half and half, I was told, is the best thing to eat or drink um, after eating something spicy. So, without further ado, my, uh, my lovely ghost pepper, here it goes. Pretty spicy. Whew. Wow. It's pretty good. <clears throat> um, yeah, I can see why uh, it used to be the spot hottest pepper in the world. But now it's the uh, Carolina Reaper is the spicy. The most spicy pepper. Um, the, the heat comes on gradually. It starts off uh, slow, and it's uh, increasing in severity. Started on my tongue, now it's like it's on my face, and it's pretty good though. Um, so I guess uh, the spice uh, spiciness of this pepper, I'll give it. Uh, it's got to be a five out of five because it's a it's a ghost pepper. Um, so well, uh, have a good day and uh, make it spicy.